Mikey woke up and he thought to himself, today is going to be different. So the first thing I can do is put out the fire from last night. Dust off the Pringle crumbs and then hop down to the woods to see what today has in store for him. He was in the pub the night before and a man had made a bet with him. He said, hey, Mikey, listen, you're not genetically strong enough to ever win say a world championship medal never mind an Olympic medal in a sport of my choosing so Mikey says alright how about swimming and your man says there's not a swimming pool fucking near you Mikey you live in dust no matter how hard you work you're never going to have the requisite training facilities to achieve the level necessary to be a top swimmer and Mikey said fuck this and fuck you First thing tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to start digging. I'm just going to use a bit of a branch and the arms that God gave me and I am going to fucking dig, boy. And that's what he done. And as he dug, he thought to himself, maybe genetically I'm one of the best diggers in the world and I should just apply to have that entered into the Olympics and win. Watch his technique, it's second to none. Smooth sides, throwing the dust out with his hands. It's not even half nine in the morning. And Mikey has two huge fucking holes dug. What's he doing, you might ask? He's not building a swimming pool on the ground, or is he? What the fuck, Mikey? What the man had said and the way he'd said it in the pub had really pissed off Mikey. He thought of this as he thumped more and more earth. It was a strangely beautiful fucking thing. He was great and I think we'll all agree. Just look at him go. He is like the fucking Terminator, man. Never seen that like Mikey going. He's gone building this the size of an Olympic swimming pool, but like half of it. So he can just turn around and practice his kicks off the wall. As Mikey worked, he envisaged the after parties he thought of. He thought of the Olympic Village and the Dutch hockey team, Swedish volleyball team, getting to meet them and telling everyone he represents a little bit of the jungle and a small bar in the middle of, I don't even know where Mikey is. I think it might be County Carlow. The middle of Ireland, I'm not sure though. It's either that or somewhere different. In any case, if someone Irish did this, it wouldn't surprise me. It would surprise me if they were sober doing it. Now, breakthrough, finally. Just bash another bit of the swimming pool out for the crack. At times he reminds me and looks a bit like if Jose Aldo had become a decorator slash plasterer, grew a bit of a fro and never did MMA. Look, he didn't think to become an MMA fighter. And by Barry from the bar, I think that's your man who made the bet with him. Bring him down here and be like, see the swimming pool I made for the Olympics? And Barry would be like, there's no water in this. And why is the UFC engraved on the side? And he'd be like, because you've been tricked, chrome a pair of gloves and uh, start streaming to the world. Doesn't it change him around? He... Oh, lockers. I think he's building lockers. I don't know if he's building a swimming complex or just a swimming pool. <clears throat> he's working with burning plastic like. And he's just pushing the dirt out, literally. No brush, chuck it out, throw it away. Good man, Mikey. That's literally how he gets rid of it. Just notice he hasn't even really taken a break yet. He's taking a break to measure bits he's gonna smash again. So just remember, he literally threw all the dirt out of this. No wheelbarrow, no spade, no shovel. It's a pair of hands and that weird looking hurdy side. Oh, he's back. There's Barry's head. I oh, know it's not rocks. This bit I don't understand. Not that I've understood that now, so he's now <laughs> smashing rocks. Oh no, he's powdering the ground. That makes sense. Mikey, what are you doing? You're just making more work for yourself. He's making cement. Even if the Olympics don't work out for you, pal. You have a career heavy in painting and decorating. And that is how you make cement out of just dust of broken rocks. You smash up some water 
and some other stuff. Now for his next trick, he's just make green paint out of leaves. Ah, oh, you gotta love it. What's he using as a brush? Has he got an actual paintbrush or is it just a bit of a stick? Jesus, man, that'll take ages. I don't know if Mikey did this all in one day. It's kind of Irish looking. It looks a bit green, white and orange, isn't it? That's because Mikey's Irish, as I said, down in Cardo. A patriot. Fill up the pot, go back and pour it into the massive hole you just dug. Then text Barry and say, come down here, you fuck you. It's going to take a few trips. Very clever, isn't it? And now he's ready to sicken Barry. He's back and forth, working all their strokes, press stroke, front crawl. That wasn't very good. Head down. He get there though. Barry is going to be fucking haunted by this. Some people you don't make bets with in the pub. They go too far. And this has been the story of Mikey. And look, he can sleep in his cave now because he built that as well. Let's get some of the dust out of the way. No space to have a missus back, but Olympics is coming. Don't you fucking worry. You see him on the teddy bear. So that's it. If you want the uh, Mikey's contact details, just email me.